What's going on, everybody? Uh, very late, unexpected stream, but it's not every day you get to play a little bit of Yakuza 7 so far ahead of its release. Sega consistently makes demos for all these games, and yes, I don't know the language, but no, it will not stop me from playing this demo and figuring it out anyways. So let's just hop in here. Excited to play this for myself. Hopefully get to see some of that turn-based combat. And uh, yeah, let's hop in. What's happening? And like the third option down, while I'm trying to look for brightness, change all the in-game text to English. Now, mind you, I had already put like 80 or 90 hours in. I was so sad. You know, every single time I play a foreign game, I always fiddle with the options, even if I can't see it, just in case. Thankfully, we don't have to do that too much more with the Yakuza games, because they come out in America pretty fast now. They just finally realize that, uh, hey, we like these games. Just let us play them. I love that load screen. Look, look at those little characters right there. My logo's kind of in the way, but... There you go. Look at that. Yeah. What's that guy? Do you know him? He's a former Kanagawa Kenkei. A former Kenkei? A former Kenkei. He's a member of the Kenkei Center. でもよくここが分かったな足立さんあんたの方はあの後大丈夫だったんですか大丈夫ああ、uh, いやそうだね<笑>首になったよ警察えあとちょっとで夢の満額退職金だったのになあっさり懲戒免職だじゃああんたたった一人でこの場所見つけ出したのか<笑>カスガニは俺からスマホを渡してたんだねあそうだよだったら来る前に連絡くれりゃよかったのに連絡つかなかったのはそっちだろうまあ撃たれた挙句ホームレスやってたんじゃスマホの充電もできなかったわけだ俺の体より携帯の心配スマホが切れてたからお前の居所が分かんなかったんだは GPS だよ Anytime you hear music like this, you know it's at a toy's、uh, kind of goofy hijink time. <laughs> I believe he's offering his services to help us out. ちょっと。ほら、さっさとハロワ行くぞ。It's, I'm, I'm, Japanese 
dubbed game that I'm playing the Chinese demo of from America. So if you don't know what Yakuza is, A, what are you doing watching this? B, play some Yakuza. It's one of the greatest series in video games. Now, here we are. We have the party, which is, you know, that's brand new. Demo stretches in. Okay, look at us. We look pretty cool. I'm guessing these are our special skills right here. It must be. We have uh, associated magic points, mana points. My to-do list. The thing that always makes the Yakuza games pretty straightforward to play is because they color code the objectives, which I always felt like was on purpose when they were designing these games. I always felt like they did that on purpose. Okay. My smartphone. Yep. Tips. Yes. Okay, I got it. Alright, let's uh, see if we can just wander around and get into some trouble. Oh, this should be pretty straightforward. Okay, blocked off. I believe it is using the Dragon Engine, albeit with some refinements. Uh, I hope I can get into some random encounters. I just really want to get into the battle system. But I'm sure they're going to throw me into one. <laughs> this is the loop. You can loop this gift or, or make this a gift right here. This is pretty great. If you do want to try the demo out for yourselves, you do need to have either a Japanese or an Asian PlayStation account, which is very quick and easy to do. You can look online, there's plenty of guides, and it's like right there in the front of the store, you can't miss it. What the hell? See that Highlander? What is this? Magica. He just say magic. <laughs> I can't wait to play this game. <laughs> just fully embracing the RPG roots. They just mentioned RPG actually right there. I'm very excited. Oh, yes, yes, let's go. No. They're going to fight me. I know it. Yeah. Ooh. 
Oh shit, it's fight time. なんだ。こいつら変身しなかったか。ああ。何言ってんだお前。勇者がどうとか妄想がすぎるんじゃねえか。現実見ろよ、無職さん。俺だけ。まあいいや。The <laughs> great looking visual style to it as well. Oh, I guess that's like item usage. Okay. Yeah, you get my spells. Start out with some of the basic attacks. <laughs> what? Dude, this is fucking crazy. Part of my French. Alright, let's try the next attack. I'm just gonna go in order here to kind of see what we have. Oh, interesting. That had AoE properties, even though. Love how much of a spellcaster this guy is. You got to stun me. Oh, Lord, it's defense. Okay. Ah, okay. So he's he's basically the tank. I mean, I just I literally just drew aggro, which is such a weird thing to see. So we've seen his attacks. What's circle defense? Okay. Whoa, 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 they did a follow-up attack, huh? Okay. Alright. Human man, weak to fire, checks out. I'm pretty weak to fire as well. not have camera control during the combat itself. What? So Kushito Fukujoshi? What is happening? I'm kind of stunned by all this. Alright, this is how he can heal. I heal himself, actually. Right, ultimate attack, see what he has. Oh man, giant swing. I sorry guys. I'm still just a little bit blown away by the literal summon by using the smartphone. I 
<laughs> I've just never seen anything like that. That's pretty great. Yeah, listen, there's a lot of stats here. Okay, we have a job, we have skill point system, job skill system. I mean, the creators of the Yakuza series said he was very influenced by Dragon Quest when he made this game. And so far, in terms of stats and what you come to expect from a very traditional JRPG, it all seems to be here. You know, even though I have the language barrier, you can still, I mean, just from looking at the menus and the way combat kind of rolled out, there's a lot of similarities. I, I think it's one of those things, too, when people initially had the backlash over the turn-based combat system. When you're seeing still images, it makes you feel like it's going to be static, bland. But when it's actually in motion and you're controlling it, the fight still feels very dynamic. Still kind of feels like a, like a kind of a sloppy street fight. Uh, the way the Yakuza games can do when you have a lot of people brawling. <笑>じゃあ、さっさと we gotta try to summon those other characters and see what their attacks look like. Alright, here we go. So we have enemies here. Let's see if we can run into them and. Alright, smooth transition. I'm gonna try, I just wanna try out the summons. Yo, that was amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm nerding out. Like, this is fantastic. Oh, man. I'm gonna assume it's kind of like a big group heal, and we're probably all buffed. If I had to surmise. Alright, so I think down on the D-pad is just their basic attack. I'll go for the weak guy first. I oh, like he maybe has drained some MP with the basic move. That stole from me. See if we can see the other summon. I saw a giant crab. Actually, the lobster. Looks like it's gonna be a boss fight in Neo 2 right here. Oh my god! And he's poisoned? Oh, he, he, he just died outright. Alright, let's head for the, uh... The main objective. Wonder what kind of trouble we can get into though. Like in, in terms of like I wonder what kind of side activity 
they have in this demo. We just did some uh, hobo races earlier. Okay, nice heal. I think for me the most exciting part of this game is that there's going to be a new area, a new town to explore. Whoa, this guy just showed up out of nowhere. What the fuck? Look at this guy. Because they're blunt resistant. They're wearing gigantic garbage and filled garbage bags. You're actually getting grabbed. This attack right here drains uh, HP. Ravens got him. Oh, he drains all of my mana. Should be dead anyways. Very weird. I have a feeling like like goofy elements like that are gonna put off probably the same people who are complaining about it being turn based to begin with. But I but I, I really do feel like if you've been playing any of uh, the Yakuza games uh, through any length of time, then you know that it's not just pure super serious gangster crime epic all the time like all the yakuza games have plenty of over the top and just downright silly elements that kiryu or mojima or everyone else would get involved in but i feel like fighting enemies like that while initially like like what am i looking at still fits right in with the tone of the yakuza games 100 percent <sighs> Alright, got a mini game. Let's see what this is. There's always a lot of mini games here, and I haven't actually kept up on seven, so I'm not exactly sure how much of the mini games are returning from previous games, or if because of the new setting, the new character, if they're just gonna do them all over. What are we looking at right here? Holy shit. But the standard did not think go kart racing was what I was about to stumble into, but I'm down. I actually really enjoyed managing the baseball team in uh, six, that was a lot of fun. I wonder if this has been developed by the uh, Sonic Racers team, Sumo Digital just uh, had some input here. Uh, yep, circle to use the items, don't crash, get the coins to go faster. 
ぶっちぎってやるぜいやだってファーストアルWhat the hell? I didn't even think it would actually take out a rocket. I gotta see if there's a way to drift. Oh, they're tricky. Okay. So, right trigger to drive. Not shoot behind you. Oh, you that I figured out so far. Shout out for uh, reset. Reset era. Let me know the demo is out tonight. I was literally in the middle of just editing a crap ton of uh, Death Stranding stuff and some stuff for Friday. A little bit of Star Wars stuff that I'll be reviewing. But I have to get some prep work done for that before I can really dig in and start playing it. But uh, uh, spoiler alert: Star Wars is a lot of fun so far. Probably can't say that, but. Oh well. And uh, yeah, I just not expected to be able to play this tonight. So, a nice break from all the writing and editing I've been doing for the past like five hours. And hopefully you guys are enjoying the gameplay. Hopefully the stream is uh, looking nice. Actually it was a small demo, it was only about 12 gigs. Downloaded much faster than I had uh, anticipated. All right. Oi. <sighs> oh, that guy looks like he's up to no good. Jesus. Thank you, Crazy Gamer. Much appreciated. Welcome to NTF Gaming, where all men play video games. For the old men crowd. Old people crowd, I should say. No, we're not a fan of this guy hitting that bike. Oh. Baby Jelly, thank you so much for uh, the follow. 
<laughs> Welcome to NTF Gaming. Much appreciated always, but never required. All right, here we go. Looks like we're gonna have a boss fight. Oh, a bunch of people just transformed. Oh, what is that? The game totally has an auto battle uh, mode. You guess just watch the mayhem unfold? That's not fun. I like to uh, be a part of the mayhem. Yeah, see, like, there's certain things like that that I'm not controlling, like those follow-up attacks. I kind of want to use one of these items to kind of see what it does. Oh, this fight's actually kind of tough. I... Oh my, I'm bleeding a lot. Alright, let's, uh, pick the serious here. Focus this guy down. They got really creative with some of these abilities. I love it. Alright, so I have a counterattack. I messed up the QTE. I'm taking a lot of bleed damage for it. That looks brutal, man. They're just bleeding out everywhere. Let me draw aggro. Everyone else is gonna hurt. I think that's an AOE version of his attack. I bet you if I did that to a bunch of people who are next to each other. That looks like it buffs his attack speed and his uh, attack power. I need to figure out a way to stem the bleeding. Playable characters the game will actually have because of party members. Looks like you learn a new ability there at the bottom. Yeah, I think we're learning new abilities right now. And that boss fight might have pushed us over some kind of threshold. Thank you so much for the sub. Much appreciated. 
And you guys are showing me a lot of love tonight. I appreciate it. Not needed, though. Not needed. Hanging out trying this uh, demo. <laughs> Bit eager to see some uh, YouTube channels. But I know there's definitely a big uh, Yakuza community who can translate and break it all down. Even though it's still a demo and it's far away from release, I would still like to uh, just kind of know the crux of what the demo is about. How much, of a, how much of a slice are we getting from the final game? Let's see if I can actually use uh, an item here. Let's, let's, let's use my abilities. Let's see if there's something I can do for MP. Okay. okay, so we do have an equipment screen here. Like I said, we have different def uh, stats here. Definitely looks like attack, defense. I'm guessing one of those might be magic defense. probably don't have anything at the moment. I wonder how much of the armor and everything like that will be customizable. I wonder if I take that off, will you be able to see it? Like this jacket? No. So the looks are the looks for the characters. That's good to know. We have four party members. Okay. This gets like a like a status screen for each of the characters, I'm guessing. Oh, and it looks like you can change their jobs. Huh. So it looks like if I change him to this job, he reverts to being hand to hand with no weapons, so I I don't know if the demo is going to let me change that right now. It, it won't let me select it, so probably can't. I wonder if I can, like, uh, unequip the bat and see if that'll change his fighting style, but no, it doesn't let me. I think it's pretty locked in. Alright, we're healed up. Yagata. A new party member I have now? It sounds like it. Thank you, Jackio. Jackio sixteen nine. Oh, I get it. You son of a bitch. 
That's a good name. Oh. So is the is this like a call center? Is the call center basically the uh, you know, if you play Dragon Quest, there's an inn where you can swap roles and, like, you know, change party members out. And I wonder if the call center is basically that. <clears throat> so it looks like we have a couple of different things here. I am very curious to check out B-Boy. Let's check out the B-Boy job. I'm... Endlessly fascinated. What other job? Oh, I kind of want to give him like the knives. I and mean, look at him, he looks pretty, pretty solid like that. Right, let's make him whatever that is. The pretty boy? This is. I did. I'm, I'm so in. Yeah, we don't look different walking around, which maybe is for the best. Because I would absolutely dress up the entire crew as B-Boys if... That's how I was going to work. Oh, we got to get into a fight. I don't think you two are going to be up for it. <laughs> look at him go, dude. Oh my god. Okay, he has different abilities. Only one way to go is to see him. That's like a simultaneous attack. Oh, she has a lot of abilities. Let's start with the first one. Good old purse slap. Oh man, you gotta have a sense of humor about it. This is fantastic. Jesus. This seems like a really brutal weapon to pull out. One guy's just doing a b-boy dance, you know, a lady has a purse, one guy's popping bottles on you, and then all of a sudden, fourth guy just takes out a katana and decides to go to town. So a pretty boy. So if you're too early with that QTE, you will fail it. It's actually pretty strict timing on that. Also, does anything you guys want to see uh, in the chat? Any questions? Any part of the menu you want me to explore? Oh, he died. He's just actually dead. So he had that ability even in his uh, other job, and I wonder if there's like intrinsic character abilities that they just have all the time, regardless of a uh, job. Yeah, see, he has that ability regardless. There must be. Either that or if your job levels up a certain point, you carry that skill with you all the time. That would make a lot of sense. Yeah, this is the taunt. I'm guessing it works the exact same way. Well, let's not do that right now. Buff, but still sleeping. And this looks like the same standard uh, heal. 
that we had. Probably works the exact same way. Yes, it does. No, he does not give a fuck. All the jobs start low level, so they seem like they're probably gonna rank up pretty quickly as they move along. Guessing these are new weapons and equipment right here. Yes, they are. I, I actually got to applaud them too because it seemed like they really thought about the UI and the design elements. I love that in combat, with just one button press, you can just seamlessly hide certain uh, parts of the HUD if you don't really want to see them. Even here, like just having the nice little brackets, everything just fits the style. I mean, everything just has a good look to it. Wow, that's a huge buff for her. Just some kind of general accessories that look good for everyone. See if I can get everyone's weapon at least replaced. Upgrade. Alright, so I got everyone some new weapons. That's all I can afford right now. Beak of the Devil. What am I fighting up against? You know what? Oh, we don't have enough. Actually, a lot of enemies here to go after. He's probably gonna be resistant to fire, I'm guessing. Yes, because he's wet. Luckily, I'm so powerful enough. I never thought grown men and a slip and slide would be uh, an enemy I face off against in any RPG, but here we are in 2019. I'm gonna have him taunt early on. Outfits don't change your character, but it looks like all the weapons do physically appear on them, which is nice. Can we take him out? Oh, just so close. I do not want to attack that guy. This she hits pretty hard. Done. 
I forgot to use the character's basic attacks, they're actually pretty powerful. さあ、さっさと清掃して売上の生産よろしくね。はい、フロント。お湯の出が悪い。お客さん変わるたびにフロのお湯入れたいないですかってよ。え、汚い。入浴剤とかでごまかしてよ。うん、洗面台の奥に
Uh, I really like what I played so far, but of course I love the Yakuza games. I know the silliness of the turn-based combat may turn some people off, but like I said earlier in the stream, Yakuza's always had elements of over-the-top and kind of fantastical, whimsical things. So I feel like those elements being incorporated into the combat in terms of the enemies you face, some people may roll their eyes and groan at it, but I enjoy it. It's, uh, I think it's worth them experimenting. You know, like, if, if you keep making the same exact game and the same style, no matter how much you love the series, it's eventually going to grow old. And we're here at Yakuza 7, not counting the spinoffs, not counting the remakes, you know? So it's, it's a lot of Yakuza, so if they want to stretch their legs out and, and give it a shot, I'm all for it. I think it's well-designed. I think the initial outcry and people complaining about it is kind of overblown. Now they've actually played it myself. And I'm excited to play more. I reviewed Yakuza 6 uh, back when that came out. It was my game of the year when it released. And I will be reviewing Yakuza 7. I'm already in talks with uh, Sega for early copies. And I will be doing a giveaway of Yakuza 7. So if you want a chance to win one of these games early before it's out, make sure you follow. Thank you from everybody at Reset Era. Thank you for all the new follows and subs. I just did a spot stream really quick. Just to try it out and uh, let you guys see what the demo is all about. So have a good night. I hope everyone had a fun time, and I'll see you later, everybody.